There can be many causes of low power, low boost, and black smoke. The driver won't be happy with any of them. But before taking the major step of removing the turbocharger, there are a number of on-engine checks that could save you time and money. Firstly, check that the throttle linkage adjustment is correct. Check the injection pump. Fuel timing and delivery is correct. And check the injectors. Also check that the fuel supply is not restricted. Check that the intake and exhaust systems are not restricted. And check that there is no restriction through the air cooler. If all of these are problem free, then you'll need to check the turbocharger. Firstly, check that the turbocharger rotor rotates freely. Then check that the axial and radial clearances are to specifications in the Holset Service Repair Manual. If the turbocharger model has a wastegate, check its operation by applying 3 bar or 45 psi air pressure. If you still have low power, low boost or black smoke, remove the turbocharger for closer inspection. If the problem is oil leakage or carryover, again check the turbocharger rotation and clearances. Check for restrictions in the air intake and oil drain. If the problem is noise, listen carefully and try to identify how it sounds. If it's a loud cyclic knock or surge, check the compressor intake and outlet for restrictions. If it is a high-pitch screech, scream, or howl, check for exhaust gas or compressed air leaks. Remove the air intake pipework and spin the rotor to check for excessive clearance. Check other areas of the engine to locate the source of the noise. If it's not a leak and the sound is metal-to-metal -metal contact, again, the unit should be removed for further evaluation. 